Um, seven names the vice president and prime minister ahead of cabinet release. Uh, hello everyone, welcome and thanks for joining us for the latest news and the latest updates. Wherever you are and where you're tuning in from, we are very grateful. But kindly don't forget to subscribe and turn the notification button for more of these updates. President Yoweri Museven has named his vice president and the leader of cabinet bu government business alliance prime minister ahead of the release of a new cabinet anytime soon. Our sources have learned. Uh, once again, thanks for joining us, but let's take more look into some of these details. According to sources at Parliament, President Museven sent names of the two nominees for vetting and approval by the Appointments Committee in the due course of this week or after. Uh, it's also privy to information that indeed, the President had the two names last week and has been tight-lipped on the matter. However, he has been harassed by the NRM caucus to have the cabinet released on bring forth the two names while he makes up his mind on the rest. Many members of the NRM caucus have been demanding that their fate be made clear regarding whether there will be ministers and if not. Let Museven make clear who the prime minister and vice president is so that opens up parliamentary business and appointments on committees. Uh, indeed, Museven came to meet members of the caucus at Kololo yesterday and they had planned to ambush him to reveal the names. And they also said, we wanted him to name the vice president and the prime minister. And that is all we have been pushing for. But he has proven cumbersome, a member of parliament intimidated to one of the medias. He also added on saying, we hear that he has instead passed the names onto the appoint appointments committee so that they first handle the business of the proposed expansion of the cabinet that we can have the cabinet. Earlier, the NRM Parliamentary Caucus passed a resolution supporting President Museven to increase the number of ministers from 21 as required by the Constitution to 29 and 51 state ministers. This means the cabinet will have 80 members in total. The president on Monday afternoon told the ruling NRM party caucus meeting that cabinet is ready but asked the MPs to approve the two names for vice president and prime minister. I want to request you honorable members to unanimously un approve the vice president and prime minister once their names are brought to the house, Museven said at Kololo Independence Grounds. That automatically rules out the possibility of a cabinet soon, but rather places Museven under pressure to provide the country with a prime minister and vice president. So the question is who is the vice president? Uh, a source that after the a source told to one of the medias that after the caucus meeting, Museven endorsed his nominees who include the party's secretary general Kasule Lumumba being proposed among those for pre vice president uh, a position earlier marked for former speaker rebecca kadaga it is reported that kadaga was given the position but said would only take it if it came with another ministry and next probably the government chief whip something seven was not willing to offer Kadaga in her suggestion had earlier also claimed that being a vice president is passive and she did not want to be under some other person's armpit. Hence, a position of influence would be prime minister. However, given the work relations already with the speaker Jacob Bologna, that would cause enough friction at doing government businesses. Commenting about this, President Museven reiterated during the caucus that the rumor that some people intend to make others feel leisure in the party is unreliable. And that, I will personally make sure no one feels belittled in the party. The matter of Kadaga became further complex owing to the fact that the chief whip position she wants annexed to the vice presidency had already been promised to MP Thomas Taewa if deep throat sources are to go by. It is said this will be a reward for his decision 
to withdraw from the deputy speaker race in favor of Anita Among. Again commenting on the matter yesterday, Museven thanked members of the caucus for behaving so well in the recent concluded speaker elections. Museven reserved more kudos for the position of deputy speaker, where he said that politics is not about what one wants, but what has been agreed by everyone. Museven's comments were, li were in light of the decision by Taewa to step down and galvanize support for Among, who trounced her male competition by garnering 415 votes. The same comments were in line with his acknowledgement of Taewa's teamwork by choosing from Forego his interest for the benefit of the party's position, unlike Adaga. Hence, in order to make Taewa happy, it would be unlikely that Museven would make Kadaga speaker with her demands. Uh, also, sources cannot independently verify whether Lumumba has been endorsed in the vice presidency. Vice presidency position, yeah. Sources ha cannot independently verify whether Lumumba has been endorsed in the vice presidency position. So who is the prime minister? President Museven has been stuck with the position having Dr. Ruhakana Rugunda, who on one side has requested to be let go, and Amama Mbabazi, who wants in. While the position has been vetted and Mbabazi a close contender, a later suggestion proposed up to have the former, pre former premier seconded as the attorney general in replacement of William Biaruhanga, who makes way. The position, however, remains recalled by M7 on the last minute and instead sources say for the time being the vice president or any member of the caucus, particularly Margaret Mohanga, who acts as the spokesperson, will help handle the government business in the parliament until the agenda to endorse an expansion of cabinet is adapted. Mohanga herself is apparently assured a ministry and the sources cannot verify which slot. Initial suggestions had brought forward the State House controller, controller Lucy Mbonye Nakchove to handle the docket but another source in the office of the Speaker of Parliament Privy to the matter could not confirm the name had been, the name had been sent in. The Speaker is the chairperson of the Appointments Committee of Parliament commenting about the proposed cabinet list on social media MP Mohanga on Monday evening said that the list will be out by Sunday evening. However, by the end of the week, we shall have the Vice President and Prime Minister, all new names. Mohanga tweeted quoting her fly on the walls of State House. It remains to be seen that what it remains to be seen what will happen end time from now. Well, that is it for now. They are not yet clear clues of who the prime ministers are and what we are having are just the acting prime minister and the vice president well that is it for now we will keep on updating with more of this thanks for watching but kindly don't forget to subscribe and turn the notification button for more of these updates